Congratulations on the launch of the show. I'm curious to know from both of you, when did you decide that you wanted to uh, be the stars of a, of a family reality show? And when did you want to let people into your private lives? Well, actually, it was an idea that I came up with some years ago. Um, I The timing just wasn't right. I guess the world wasn't really in the climate of receiving the, the diversity, the cultural differences and religious faiths and just you know, things change. I, I'm a strong believer in everything's about timing. And I feel like the climate of the world and how many more things we're accessible to and people are wanting to learn what's on every part of the world. We just, we're in a different space right now and it finally clicked and worked. So I was able to create something really beautiful with great collaborative partners and Half Yard Productions. And then with an amazing platform like Hulu that allowed us to be authentically us, tell our truths from our perspective and gave us that safe space to be able to do so. And I felt like, why not? Why wouldn't I want to create a show where I can work with my best friends, my family, give us an opportunity to spend more time together and build more memories. And it's something that I, the television market is missing. There's a lack and a void of in our specific genre of um, culture and religious faith. So I felt like, why not do it? Now, one of the parts of the show that I love so much is the dynamics of like, you've got you've got your mother, you've got the older sisters who were born in Afghanistan, you've got younger sisters who were um, born here in the States and different perspectives and things like that. Um, being that you two are number four and five, uh, does both being in the middle kind of align you be best? Do you feel like you're closer to each other than everybody else because of that? Technically, I'm the wolf pack, and then Robbie is the elder. That's the way okay. that it happens, is that the wolf pack is... Alex, <laughs> that word does not exist. Our gap is not that large, but that's okay. That's okay. We were in different times in our life, and, you know, the wolf... The, the, the baby cubs, and then the lionesses. <laughs> so, so, I mean, truly, I consider myself as the bridge, because I did come as an infant. Um, America's all I know. But I do consider myself, you know, conservative, um, you know, very grounded, um, level headed and focused and diligent and cognizant of my younger sisters and the life they, they, they live respectful. You know, I do not judge them. They know that I don't judge them. You know, even faith, you know, even in our, you know, as a Muslim, it is only God's place to judge. So I have chosen that I, I'm not going to judge them, not on the way they behave, not on their activities, not on how they dress. Live you, you know, that's your true you. And I'm not going to sit there and pinpoint like, don't wear that. I mean, there's moments where I kind of go, <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? But you know what I mean? But I don't say it out loud because it's just, I don't want anybody to feel a certain type of way. I, I live me and they live them. And I'm totally okay with that. You know, Shakur is part of the Cubs and I, you know, but Shakur is a great person. You know? the wolf packs. I'm, I'm the leader of the wolf pack. See, the thing is this, is that I'm first generation American. So it starts at me. So I'm the first one that was born and raised here in America. And then again, the, the, the two camps being the elders and the wolf pack, there's just a bit of differences as far as we, we all have a traditional sense. We all have our faith, but it's just to different levels. And we all express our culture and our religion in different ways. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's no wrong or right way to do it. It's just a different way to do it. And you're going to see that play out throughout the season on how different it really is. But even with those differences, you still see one thing that is so prevalent, which is it's always going to be family over everything and the sisterhood that we still have for each other. It doesn't matter. You put those differences and those quirks and stuff to the side. What sets you all apart from other families with reality shows, um, in part, is that you're all Muslim American um, and you're really kind of breaking a lot of um, stigmas or stereotypes that people may have um, about Muslim American families. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what that means to you to kind of be able to break that wall for for people who maybe don't have exposure to Muslim American people in their lives or communities? I I think breaking that wall was one of the most important things and aspects of the show because our whole lives we grew up, you know, kind of living like these double lives. Like, yes, we're Muslim, we're American, we had to act a specific way at home. And then we have our friends at school that are way different. And it was challenging and it was a constant battle growing up. And to be able to break that stereotype just was a breath of fresh air. I mean, how was it for you girls? Mm -hmm. Yeah, until now. I mean, and you'll see throughout the, throughout the season, 
There are certain things that we still don't do in front of the older sisters. There's a certain way we won't behave, certain clothes we know not to wear around in the house or in front of mom. And this is something that we're still learning and battling. Because when people see Muslim Muslims and they hear about Muslims, they only just see what the propaganda and what's on television. You're not really getting the, you know, getting a look into the lives of Muslim women. It's in Afghan at that. So I think it's inspiring. Afghan American. Afghan American. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's when I watch the show, I get re-inspired for my other sisters. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, I'm getting inspired by the family. It's wonderful. Is there anything that you hope, uh, I guess, girls who are in in that similar background take away from this, who maybe see that you have all these all this empowerment and, and things like that, that they're sometimes being denied? I want everybody to know that pretty much this is our journey and how we're balancing our culture and religion to navigate the decisions that we're making and bring awareness to younger girls and how you can overcome the circumstances that you may be in and to let out your voice. And, you know, it's also eliminating all the stigmas, right? You know, uh, we're not a monolith and a representation of you know, the whole Muslim community, as you said, the Afghan community, but we're hoping that each individual sister's story will relate to someone because traditionally, even though women in our culture are revered, you know, I can speak, you know, for my mom, you know, she had a really, education wasn't something she was granted. And so it was something that she really made sure each of her daughters were properly educated in us, uh, the discipline. Uh, So being able to empower women in, in, in our, in our culture. So that's, and we were so grateful that we had the platform to do that. Have you already been receiving any feedback? Like, have you seen an increase in like Instagram followers or positive messages from people who found the show? Yeah, all across the board. Uh, and I think generally the response is positive. Mm-hmm. And it's so it, it fills our hearts with happiness and joy and this warm and fuzziness inside just to see how many people are receiving it and how much they can relate to it. Mm -hmm. So it's really great. It's surreal. We're still, we're still getting used to it. We do have a TikTok called the Sozadas. Um, All of us partake in that. We do some fun videos there and then we each have our own respective Instagram handles. I'm Sadiqa.Sozada. And if you find one Sozada, you can find all Sozadas. Yes, you can. (laughs) We're always tagging each other. We're all following each other, depending on the day. I might block one here and there. I'm so excited for you guys and uh, I hope wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Take care.